In this short video, I will be talking about one of the tools provided by the Google. So that tool is Google Classroom. So this is also treated as one of the LMS learning management system at this moment. So for now, I am talking about benefits and its effectiveness of Google Classroom in the present context of education system. So I am Nirun Dahal, I am PhD scholar in STEM education at Katmandu University School of Education. So I want to welcome you all in the Google Classroom. So before starting my presentation, I want to highlight some of the issues that need to discuss and that need to go further. So very first issue is in what ways do instructors and students use Google Classroom in the present context. This is one of the issue. So what are its benefits, how to start out, how to use this free sources. So now the time to think. Now time to use this LMS in our context. So how does this change as these courses as well as the subject progress? So and the practitioner develop new principle about the use of Google Classroom in Nepalese practice Nepalese perspective or abroad. So this is one another issue. So another issue is about how does this exposes about the level and type of students engagement in this in the classes at the institution. So this is another challenge. So finally, how do these opportunity as well as challenges suggest about future changes to pedagogy in institution? So what need to be changed and what is in existing practices will that help? for us to sustain in this situation. So it's time to think, time to utilize, and time to use these free sources provided by the Google. So now I'm talking about the benefit and challenges of Google Classroom in our context. So our context is, as you know, this is little different. So if you do alerts of report, report are already showing that our country is not a stage of using Google Classroom. But also, I am here to make you some provision and to share some of my experiences on the use of Google Classroom. So, very first one is planning issue. So, like when we are developing any LMS, then we should know about its philosophy, even its some examples so so we need to know some of the examples so in the in in my uh, this presentation i'll be talking about some example so now what happened when this we are launching google classroom we are not facilitating the learners but we are also facilitating the parents as well so for that our planning should be strong our planning should be accurate and our planning should be adjustable for the learner. So next issue is about accessibility program. Either we could be able to help them or either we could be able to track in the particular time or not. So that is another issue. Next one is active students participation. So this is another issue like this is challenge as well. Like many students are not so much active while conducting these online classes. So in that case, what sort of the activities we need to design so that we could able to engage our learner in same pace. So frequency and depth of the students participation. So what happened? I as for my experience, I found at the beginning of the class there may be total number of the students present. So by the time, by the time we could not able to see all the students towards the end that could be because of various reason but also this needs to be we have to fix or we have to uh, focus on this and this is also one of the another challenge so authentic students participation either students are participating in the discussion or just they are 
they are there and they are busy with other tasks, other stuffs. So that need to be addressed. So for that, I am thinking to use the camera phone on. So camera on as well as mic on in some cases. But when this thing is going on, this is also an opportunity as well as challenge. So these are the some of the benefit as well as the some of the challenge side by side while using Google Classroom. So now I want to share one of the ideas developed by Hackard and you in back to 2018. So this uh, figure shows about the continuum of online learning. So this is all about online learning is all about increasing the pace of accessibility so that in this pandemic situation also students could able to assist the uh, their reading resources they can busy in, in learning even they can be in doing the task so for that so what happened if this is the case then there should be the collaboration between agencies and we need to listen their voices so that agencies means here the parents teachers and even the uh, learners students as well so when this thing is done then only quality learning is possible so quality learning is one of the key challenge at this pandemic situation so now i want to suggest with some possible structure of the unit while developing the google classroom very firstly we should write about the unit so what is in unit here after unit summary or model summary it may include brief summary of the unit including objective that objective may align with cognitive, effective, psychomotor and spiritual thought that need to be addressed. There are key reading resources that could be text, that could be video, audio. They are, these are some examples. You may use other. Then additional reading resources if necessary. Then assessment criteria. So like in assessment criteria, you may use concept of, sorry, you may use the ideas of classwork as well as homework or some project also you may assign for that there are some features like quiz assignments and and some reflection and learning support if it kids could not able to track what you are intended to assign them in that case you may record the audio and put over there and you may also record the videos and share with the kids so finally there should be the feedback for instructor or their self self uh, reflection also we may include so that it, we can able to see that what changes need to be made for the next classes now i want to share some of the sample so this is one sample so this sample is all about model zero and it, this is on pythagorean relation pythagoras theorem so here it has written model summary a short summary reading resources Welcome to our, okay, there is one question, then quiz, revision tasks, then reflection. And similarly, there is another, another uh, sample. This sample is all about knowing the curriculum. So, model summary, key reading, quizzes on the curriculum, reflection of model zero, feedback, and recorded session. We may provide some recorded session so that students or kids may want to track that one in their free time. And they can learn in their own pace, in their own time, and in their own way. So this is another sample I, I have uh, brought from one of the school uh, where I have facilitated one unit. So the, this is also same model one algebra. This is uh, in algebra. Here is model summary, key reading, classwork quiz, home assignment reflection and recorded videos of the session these are the some examples while developing google classroom so this is just for the one unit i'm saying for the one unit so i have used this concept from the ideas of Hayward and you 2018 and from some of my experiences i'm saying this thing so this is all about uh, my presentation okay thank you so much for your listening and for your time being.